Hello. Hello. طلعت خالي موت ده اقول اللي زمنا واحد من اصابة كومون دريسكول اللي هو دول الاصابة اللي يعني عندهم تاريخ ويا داتش والشعلة مشتعلة انه ما ادري مخي وقف ايه عندهم تاريخ خويا داتش وداتش ما يحبه وهو ما يحبه وذاك ما يحبه وهذا قاتل اخته وذاك قاتل مرته وذاك قاتل اخوه وصار عوائل يعني المهم شلون ابو موسى مربع فلزمناه وهسه حروح ما ادري شو نسوي الصراحه نسيت اه عرفت شو نسوي هاي مهمة مملة كسختها بس يا اخر شو نطلع من هذا الكامب كسختها بابا ابن السمينة ما يمشي هذا عريض ليش؟ ليش؟ For fifty days, and you unfortunately survived. When we ran away from Blackwater, I wasn't able to get supplies in. Well, when government agents are hunting you down, sometimes shopping trips need to be cut short. We'll survive. We always have. 
And if needs be, we can eat you. You're the fattest. I sent Lenny and Bill hunting, and they found nothing. Well, Lenny's more into book learning than hunting. Bill's a fool. Unless those mountains are full of game that want to read, ain't no wonder they found nothing. Enough of this. We'll go find something. Come on, Arthur. Wait a second. Hold on. Uh, here. You're gonna need something to eat out there. Assorted salted offal. <laughs> Starving will be preferable. Come on, let's go. You can't go hunting. Look at your hand. I can't stay here listening to you two. Look, if there's game in those hills, I'll find it. And you can kill it. You need to rest, Charles. You think this is rest? Come along. Here, you take this. I can't use it, and you'll have to. Oh, you're joking. Use a gun, and we'll scare off every animal for miles around. You're never too old to learn, I imagine. Come on, this way. How are you holding up, Charles? I'm okay, apart from this hand. Stupid mistake. Still bad? It'll be fine in a day or two. I just can't pull a bow right now. I uh, sure hope I can. Never really got the hang of it. You'll be fine. So, you reckon we're gonna find something to kill that ain't no Driscoll? Huh. There's meat up here for sure. Pearson doesn't know what he's talking about. Now the weather's eased off a bit, they'll be needing to feed. We'll head up this way, find some higher ground. Whew. Been a wild few days, all right. That ride north from Blackwater, getting stuck in this storm, going out for John, that thing with the old Driscolls. You've had a lot put on you. I wish I could have done more. I didn't mean it like that, just a lot to think back on. I still don't really know what happened on that boat. Me neither. <laughs> well, Javier told me a bit, but it sure weren't good. See some of the ground uncovered here. Let's look down this way. Mm. The wind's died down too. That's good. No wind at all is bad, but if it's too strong, they won't move. Now shh, stay quiet. Stop here a second. I see something. Uh, careful. <sighs> There's deer been here recently. How can you tell? How can you not? Let's walk it from here. You're gonna need the bow. Don't leave it on your horse. The gun will scare everything around. Quiet as you can. Stay low and move slowly. You see the tracks? 
I think so. Maybe not. Focus. It's easier in the snow, but once you get your eye in, you'll be able to track nearly as well in grass and woods. Wait, look. There they are. Are you ready with that bow? Good shot. Now let's try for another. done. I think that's all we can carry. Okay, you pick up one, I'll get the other. You sure your hand's okay? Uh, it'll be fine once I get it on my shoulder. Okay, I'll go grab the other one. on my horse. أخذتهم؟ هو يعني ماكو انيميشن ان تاخذهم قبل بس انا اخذتهم يعني بس تمشي من يم الغزال تاخذه لا هو وين واخذ يعني هو تطلع علامه بس هي بالابيض ومدام يعني المكان كله ابيض فما حتنتبهي بس هو اخذته You notice how Pearson's had a bottle in his hand ever since we fled Blackwall? We give the captain five minutes to grab the essentials and go, and he doesn't even bring a crumb of food. Good that we caught more than one. We've only been up here a few days and have already picked up two more mouths to feed. One more. 
We ain't feeding Neil Driscoll a damn thing. Except maybe that can of salt and awful Pearson was kind enough to give us. The girl. She has a wild look in her eye. <sighs> of course. She lost her husband, her home, everything she had. So what do we do with her? Well, once we get out of here and we're back on our feet, we'll see. She might have family somewhere. Who knows? Maybe she'll deal with the O'Driscoll for us. <laughs> well, I know who my money's on in that fight. He's weak, but that makes him much more useful. Maybe we can get to them before they get to us. What is it with the O'Driscolls? You ain't dealt with them? I suppose. Hell, we ain't run into them much the last six months. I guess because they've been over this way. Yeah. I've heard a lot of talk about them. Well, we've been scrapping over scores with them for years. Big gang. Nasty sons of bitches. Their leader, Combe, and Dutch go way back. And not in a good way. A proper blood feud. Watch out. Bear up ahead. Let's see oh, if we can find another bear. Way He's got a lot of meat on him. We've got enough here. No need to push our luck. Okay. Must be real hungry. Stay well back. Spring storms like this are the worst for animals that sleep all winter. You and me. How long you been with us now? Five, six months? Something like that. But you didn't expect this. What? Any of this. Blackwater mess. Being up here. Ah. Uh, sooner or later, a job's uh, gonna go wrong. What? <laughs> You're such a fucking girl. You're not gonna befriend a bear. No. No, not at all. No, you could run it alone, no problem. I did that for a long time. I'm done with it. Always wondering if someone's gonna kill you in your sleep. I still wonder that most nights. <laughs> I reckon you're okay. This suit. I could fall in with another gang, but Dutch. You know. Dutch is certainly different. He treats me fair. Most of you do. And for a fellow with a black father and a... We need you now. More than ever. Good. And how long have you been with these boys? Why ain't you run off? Me? Oh. 20 years, Oof. something like that. 20 Since years. I was a boy. Easy. 20 years? Yeah. Taught me to read. John, too. Taught me a few other things, him and Hosea. Huh. I'm sure. Dutch saved me. Hey, human friendly. I, 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 I think I have an idea of why humans back in the day were scared of them. I mean, sure, I'd love to have a pet bear. But right. it's gonna eat me. For now. I appreciate you letting me take time the other night. She's a strong one. It's been as hard on the horses as on the rest of us. I don't know what Dutch would do if something happened to the count. <laughs> Same with Bill and Brown Jack. He's a drunk, miserable bastard, but he loves that horse. <laughs> I hope they all make it. I tried to ride the count once. Fuck me faster than a bull. Won't take nobody but him. I'm going to. 
gonna hitch time over here. Brought some food back, boys. <sighs> Come on, let's get these over to Pearson. I uh, thank you for showing me how to use the boat properly. I only showed you a little. There's a lifetime of practice to master. Well, well, well. <sighs> What a surprise. Find a camp rat loitering around in the kitchen. Is that any way to greet an old friend? I feel like we haven't spoken for days. I do my utmost to avoid. Ah, he loves me, really. It's his sad way of showing affection. No, it isn't. Now shoot, get lost. Uh, well, see you gents later. See, you got on just fine. Charles is a wonder. Have a drink, boys. You earned it. Jesus, what is that? Navy rum, sir. It's the only thing. The only thing. <laughs> Keeps you sane, it does. Yeah, oh. seems to have done a treat on you. You go rest that hand, Charles. I'll be fine in a few days. You mind helping me with the skinning, Mr. Morgan? It's easier if we do it together. Go get to skin you. <coughs> You're always one with the jokes, aren't you? Come on. This really isn't a job for a man with a burnt hand. I'll see you both later. You skin that one, you, you dumped on the floor there. Oh, first of all, I'm not afraid to ما مش شغل اصلا هسه شنو راح نشيل الجلد اللنيتش باو جت خراب انه not too bad mr morgan yeah they always said you were a butcher you know you could trade these or sell these in pretty much any town if you're looking to make a legitimate bit of money, of course. Right now, I'm just looking to get off this mountain alive. So we well, chill this. you catch anything else? Chill this. Sure. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. You're Thank weird. You. Arthur Morgan's first decent bit of hunting. After all these years. <coughs> well, we're on the run now. Everyone's got to do their bit. My side hustle is being a butcher. Make a good stew. Folk need it. She's a butcher with a smile. Cut me forward. A few days later. Get like a few days later. It's not. Dutch being Dutch, he is busy making plans and Dutch being Dutch, those plans involve robbery and dreams. Alright. Who the hell is Leviticus Cornwall? I you was reading him his last rites. Now I see you're introducing him to your other passion. I'll mind you to show me some respect, Mr. Morgan. Mind away, Reverend. You still here then? I owe you. Yeah. And you'll pay me. But for the moment, just rest. Arthur. I think it's time for the train. Want me to go? Of course I do, but... Look at you. I was always ugly, Dutch. It's just a scratch. Don't lie still, son. Dutchy, Dutch. Oh, Abigail. Dutch. Jackie. The boy wanted to see you, John. How'd that have been, John? What's left of me? What about you? Guess I was hoping to see a corpse. Yeah, boo! Your time. You'll see plenty of that. You're a rotten man, John Marston. He is an idiot, Abigail. We all know it. Now. Railway man, we doing this. Weather's breaking. We could leave. I, I thought we was lying low. Yeah, come on. What do you want from me, Jose? I just don't want any more folks to die, Dutch. We're living, Jose. We're living. Look at me. We're living. Even you. But we need money. Everything we have in Blackwater. You fancy money. money back there? No. Listen, Dutch. I ain't trying to undermine you. I just. I just They're flirting. To the yeah. Mine, which was to lie low, then head back out west. Now, suddenly we're about to rob a train. What choice have we got? Leviticus Cornwall's no joke, Dutch. Well, who is Leviticus Cornwall? You know, he's a big railway magnet, sugar dealer, oil man. Well, how good for him. Sounds like he has more than enough to share. Dutch! Gentlemen, it is time to make something of ourselves. Get we have a train to rob!
so kindly provided to us by the O'Driscolls, the train will be coming north from Big Valley. We're going to pick it off after it crosses the border into the Grizzlies. There's a raised spot there that should give us good vantage. Charles, you'll keep lookout for any outriders. How's that hand, by the way? I'll be fine. Good. I'll take the driver and engineer, then run point. Lenny and Javier? You two take the front cars, deal with any guards. Arthur and Micah, you head straight for the back. That's what we're after. Mr. Cornwall's What are you car. doing? You and me, Morgan. Hey! Have you got a problem with that? Not if you keep your head for once. You worry about yourself, huh? Enough! Whoa. After Bill blows the tracks, we're gonna need to move fast. Is everyone clear on what they're doing? Yep. Crystal. Yes, boss. Good. Now come on. Let's run! done fast now it's thawing before anyone gets up here after us oh look at you boys see this is what i call a crew micah bell charles smith arthur morgan javier escuela and what about young lenny here always the first man on his horse just happy we're back at him dutch you sure you're ready for this kid of course I'm ready. Just stay calm. Keep your eyes short. That goes for all of you. times you gonna ask the same question, Micah? That's a lot of damn money to leave sitting for too long. It would be crazy to go back there now. The place will be swarming with Pinkertons. We go back when I say 
we go back, and that's the end of it. The money's safe. You'll just have to trust me. And if the other thing is right, if you have to do it, you'll have to get out of here. Good money. No, it's a fourth playthrough. But don't like say anything about the story, so don't spoil it in the chat. I would really appreciate that. I'm sorry. We're just robbing a train from Levit Leviticus Cornwall. Don't worry about it. That's that's all you need to know. I listen to the dialogues of the characters like it's really important. See how he's getting on? Okay. Check on Bill. Yeah. How you getting off? Yeah. I'm okay. You sure? Of course. Can I help a little? All right. Go ahead and set up the detonator by those rocks over there. Okay, sure. Now just unspool the wire and then attach it to said detonator. Says all fine. We'll soon find out. Huh? Is it okay? You go for that slide in the car, I'm Dina. Everything okay? I think so. Okay, cover your faces. Train should be here any minute. Zamal. Help! Pull me out! I got you. Ich möchte Do you think I'm a demolitions expert? Oh, shit, we got company. Oh. Let's 
What? That was the stupidest fucking shit I've ever seen. What am I doing? I kind of forgot the controls. Oh, okay, hit you. Enjoy, Sawi! Okay, Dara, Dara, Kharab. Lenny, shut the fuck up. طبعاً لازم شوية تفرق الشباب شنو هو؟ Oh shit. Shit, more guards coming out of that train car. Sucks to suck. Ah, Lenin. All these bastards must be guarding something. What the fuck? He got sniped hard. Um. I pressed him wrong button. Miss input. Still okay? I think so. Good. Damn, he's got an arm. Who is this guy? Still good, kid. Where the hell are you? I don't know. God damn it! I thought that was all of them. Yeah. Arthur Callahan. Yeah. Good shooting, kid. I can see now why the old Driscoll's brought so many boys out here for this. Get over here. I'm coming. Arthur Callahan. Really? That's interesting. Arthur Morgan is a nickname. Well, Morgan suits him better. You two all right? Yes. Let's get the money and go. We got some fellas holed up in this last car. Ah, shit. What are you boys planning on doing in there? Listen to me. We don't want to kill any of you. Any more of you. <laughs> I give you my word, but trust me, we will. I work for Leviticus Corps. Come on, boys. We got our own. Okay, you asked for it. I know, I know. I know. Uh, I've played this game like four times. Don't worry about it. Seems our friends have gone deaf. Wake them up a little. Mr. Williamson, give Mr. Morgan and Mr. Smith some dynamite. You two boys go blow that door open. Now, it don't matter too much to us, but you boys in there might want to take a step back. Seems good enough. Now, light Here the fuse. Go. Go. 
<laughs> no, don't worry about it, but I haven't like played in a long time. So I kinda of forgot the controls. No, I played it before. But like, don't don't write spoilers in the chat. We just want to rob your boss. Get on up there, search that train. Oh, I would love to. Yeah. Can I get up? This game feels kind of clanky. Look at this place. It's like a palace. Now I've seen everything. Oh, you two got the safe? I'll search the rest. Oh, yes. Should be easy as cake. <sighs> You're just gonna stand there, kid. Pour me some brandy, will ya? I'm parched. Shut up. Me and Arthur did all the work. of $2,000. Yeah, Didn't see you rushing to jump on that train. He's keen. I'll give you that. $2,000. Okay. see if we can get this open. What happens when you work for a green... Uh, Getting there. Ha. Ah. There. What? See? That's how it's done. Shit. Just a pile of papers. Bond? I don't think so. Here. Make yourself useful. At least we all know you can read. Give me those. Railroad contract. Thank you. Sugar imports from the Spanish West Indies? No, it's for sex, A man. lot of sugar? Some fancy new boat he's ordered from Europe? <laughs> yep. I am not this is it, I think. As long as I live. I think I got him. Nice. Thank God. Come on. <clears throat> Bring him some cigarettes and some bill stack. Oh, fuck. These gunslinger cards. Damn. I remember collecting all of them one by one, only not to get the hundred percent, because I just missed on a like a side quest. I don't plan on missing on it now. Bonds. They worth anything? Oh sure, bearer bonds. I think we can probably sell these pretty easily. Well done. Yeah, I know. Now they can be sold. All of this. The train? Yeah. Get it out of here. What about them? What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> it's up to you. Kill them. Leave them here. Take them with you on the train. Just make sure they don't send no folk after us. Okay. See you back at camp. When you get back, we'll be moving on. The rest of you, let's ride. If I can't find a man. Okay. Get on the train, quick. All of you. Any bright ideas? I kill all three. Of you. So behave. Find a man. Yeah, you can buy them, like, right? But I, I, at the time, I didn't buy them. No. Wait, that's gonna kill them, actually. I only wanted to threaten them, not fucking kill them. Ah, I'm very honorable. I won't kill them. You can, yeah, I know you can give him the cards, but. Uh, I was doing it like end games, and I had like <laughs> I don't know that tens of thousands of dollars, so I didn't need to, you know, give him the cards. Hi, honor, always. Always high on No, that is very, very. No, uh. Low honor is not, uh. It's just bad.
you could enjoy it, but at the end, it's not going to be very fun. So, we getting out of this hellhole? We're going to try. Weather seems stable. And we just robbed a Leviticus Cornwall train. We got money in our pockets. The worst is behind us, gentlemen. So the question uh, is, where now? I know this country a little. I told you, we should set up camp in Horseshoe Overlook near Valentine. We'll be able to hide out there no problem. Yo, Valentine. Well, then let's go. Clean noses and everything else. Arthur, you're in that one. Bring Hosea. I know you two like to talk about the good old days and what's gone wrong with old Dutch. <laughs> I mean everybody oh this song it's different well, let's let's just enjoy it My favorite town? I don't know, I kind of forgot about all of them. I didn't have a favorite town. I, I remember just l liking the, the very developed town because it, it sold clothes that I really liked. It's, it's the last one, I think it's De Denise? Denny? Denny something? I don't know. Yes, boss. You two ride up ahead, make it sure just had a no Saint Denis. Yeah, it's Adam Saint Denis. Me with the boy? Just go. Come on, kid. You can buy me a whiskey. Thank you for the sup. I really appreciate it. Yeah, Saint Denis. <laughs> the, f the city fucking sucks, but I like the shops. Really? I, th I thought, like, it's a canon event for this thing to break. Damn, I didn't know that, actually. That's... After, like, five years of me playing this game, I thought this is canon. Like, it always happens. You're bad driving. Um, bro, it's, it's 1900s. Do you expect me to pull some Ryan Gosling moves? No. I'm a gunslinger, not a fucking caravan driver. What do you think? Dog. If they wanted oh. trouble, we wouldn't have seen them. Well, it's when you're off the 1900s, man. We really screwed them over down here. Come on, let's not push our luck. What happened? Well, get in. I'll tell you. Uh -uh. Not too far now. Stay on Brother, track. it's one year off. Follow the river, then cut left inland. So, yes, the Indians in these parts got sold a very raw deal.
Fellas, don't write spoilers, please. Good farmer and Grayson country. They lost it all. Have I seen the intro? Stole them clean away from them. It was every blade of grass. Yeah, I have. I know it's 1899. But like, it's one year off. Well, that's okay. Don't worry about it. I just heard some of the army out here was particularly uh, unpleasant about it. Unpleasant? How do you rob and kill people pleasantly? We don't. In spite of that, just talk. I fear I was because it's one year off. Nineteen. <laughs> Fuck off! For the I'm not doing this. Block-headed driver here. Hey, don't blame it on me. Never forget, this here's a con man, Charles, born and bred. Just cause it sounds fancy don't mean he knows a damn thing about what he's talking about. I'm sorry. Yeah. So, what I'm happened sorry. to you, I don't mean it I I, in a mean way. At least, not that I can remember. My father was a colored man. He told me he lived with our people for a while, a number of free men. I already apologized. When we were don't get to too comfy. From our lands, the three of us fled. I was too young to really remember much. My whole life I've been on the run. A couple years later, some soldiers captured my mother. Took her somewhere. We never saw her again. We drifted around. He was a very sad man, and the drink had a mean hold on him. Around 13, I just took off on my own. That was about the age we found young Arthur here. Maybe a little older. A wilder delinquent you never did see. But he learned fast. Not as fast as Marston, apparently. Wait, I don't understand. What's the problem between you two? Arthur? Yeah, it's a long story. Yep. We still heading the right way? That depends. Are we still heading west in search of fortune and repose in virgin forests as we planned? No. Are we heading in the correct direction on our desperate escape from the law east? No, I will not mountains? choose yes, the clothes you so. tell me to. No uh, fucking way. I've been through a couple of times. There's a livestock town not too far from here called Valentine. Cowboys, outlaws, working girls. Our kind of place. Hamburger. Probably them too. It's cool, isn't it? Let's hope not. And this place we're going. Wait, what's it called again? Horseshoe Overlook. It's a good place to lie low. It'll do for now. <laughs> no. Okay, don't worry. I think Dutch is really going to lie. <laughs> it's just, you know, maybe it's me who's changed, not him. But we kept telling him that fairy job didn't feel right. You and me had a real lead in Blackwater that could have worked out. Maybe. It just isn't like Dutch to lose his head like that. Things go wrong sometimes. People die. It's the way it is. Always has been. Me, you, Dutch. We've all been in this line of work a long time. And we're still here, so... I figure we must have got it right a hell of a lot more than we got it wrong. God! Fuck driving in this game. Just some yarrow and ginseng. Good for the health. Yeah, you can have all this. I'm at the point where I can do it with my eyes closed. Oh, okay. Thank you. Yeah. You could, yeah, you could do that. But like, I'm trying. Oh shit, I'm off road. I'm trying to read your guys' comments and get there quickly. Thanks. Oh, we're there. Oh wait, Javier said he wants to jump. Huh? Brother, it's a gunslinging okay, game. Who gives a shit about my driving? Any trouble getting in here, Javier? I mean, if you have a PC, why would you well, not well, get mods? This is a good spot. 
Excellent. I think this will work for us, Arthur. For now, anyway. Here we are, gentlemen. Home sweet home. Oh, ain't that nice. You weren't wrong, Jose. This place is perfect. I hope so. Gentlemen, we have survived. For now. Now, it is time to prosper. Arthur and I were about to prosper in Blackwater. We were onto something big. Then Micah got you all excited about that ferry, and here we are. We have all made mistakes over the years, Hosea. Every last one of us. But I kept us together. Kept us alive. Kept the nooses off our neck. I guess I'm just worried. <laughs> I ain't got that long, Dutch. I, I want folks safe before I go. Me too. And now we are stuck east of the Grizzlies and out of money and a, a long way from our dream of virgin land in the west. I know, my brother, but we are safe. We make a bit of money here, then we move again, head out around them, be west of Uncle Sam, in a few months, buy some land. I hope so. Would you just look around you? This world has its consolation. <laughs> Gentlemen, I'm going to head into the local town and, uh, you know, see if I can strike up a little business. Of course, Herr Strauss. Up for Robin Banks to usury? Seems more. Or I could just do somehow. one treasure hunt and I would get like Everyone, two hundred fifty dollars. Or I could go to the like the gold spots and get like two thousand dollars if I sell them to a fence. But I'm not interested in money right now. We are far too poor. So it is time for everyone to get to work. Get to work, but stay out of trouble. Remember, we are itinerant workers. Laid off when they shut down our factory to the north. Now get out there and see what you can find, Uncle. Reverend Swanson, no more passengers. <laughs> it is time for everyone to earn their keep. There is a town a little way down the track named of Valentine. Valentine. Oh, mud and morons, if I remember right. That seems a decent place to start. And uh, we need food. Real food. That means every day. One of you. And remember, whatever it is that you find, the camp gets its slice. Now be sensible out there. Now the girls have your tent ready, Mr. Morgan. Come with me. You two will be ready shortly. We put you over here. I'm sure everything will be fine, Miss Grimshaw. It should be. Most of your stuff from Blackwater got saved. Everything apart from my money. Oh, don't remind me. Well, we can always make more money. We're gonna have to. I am stuck Miss Jackson! Okay. I've seen shit with more common sense than you! <laughs> I've seen shit with more common sense than you. I, I forgot how funny the characters can be in this game sometimes. Chapter 2. Let's go. Finally. Out of the fucking snow. This is where the fun begins, I suppose. She likes to make her cry. Country called the Heartland. Of course, you got an idea, Hamburger. As far east in many a year. Dutch seems a little better. His eyes are sparkling once more. I can see he's thinking a little clearer. I think we all feel a little happier. In spite of black water and that whole mess. One last. No. Arthur. Please. Jose. Quite a day. Let's hope so. There's a bunch of the boys already in Valentine. Bill, Charles, and Javier. And Swanson found something down at the train station by the lake, apparently. And Strauss came back with that creepy little smile on his face. <laughs> You're room. my fan? I'm sure there's a whole list really? of unfortunates he's forced money upon. <laughs> Thank you. And you? I'm gonna read a book. 
Got a plan, Archer. Well, first, I'm changing this. It's ugly. Oh, the photograph. The Grizz. No fucking way, I'm not doing that. Spring Rocks, Beatrice Morgan. That's his mother, right? Yeah, damn. Feels bad. Alright. Yeah, no fucking way I'm doing that. Uh, no, I just won't wear something ugly for the duration of the game. Like, look at this. This is fucking ugly. Come on. I don't have the money for clothes right now. And fuck the hats. I don't like the hats. Coats. Oh, the duster coat. Yeah, I'll take it for now. Because we ain't got anything else, unfortunately. What are these ugly ass vests? Holy shit. Union suit, no. No, uh. Boots. Yeah, no, no boots would be perfect. I'm pretty sure. Um, popular opinion, I don't fucking like the spurs. No boot. Are you. You're just trying to look at Arthur's feet, aren't you? I know you're kind. You just want the man's feet. Oh yeah, I forgot you could upgrade these. Right. Okay, okay, okay. I see. Fuck the bandolier. It looks ugly. Yeah, I'm gonna do a lot of stuff. That's more like it. Now, oh, what are we gonna do? Some chores? I ain't doing all of them. I didn't use Feet Finder. What is Feet Finder? Wait. Feet Finder? Good work, Mr. Morgan. Okay. Wear the hat. I'm not. No, I'm not wearing the hat. No fucking way. Wait, where am I supposed to take this? I kind of forgot. Like, right here? I really forgot. Fuck off, Lenny. Truth or dare? My name ain't no concern of yours. Oh, here. Oh, the X is right. Oh my god, I haven't played the game in years. Anyways, um, truth or dare? Truth. I'm not gonna say dare. <laughs> okay, tell me both. I'll, and if the dare is okay, I'll do it. But for starters, I'll do tr truth. Racist. Micah. Yeah. Micah cosplay. Being racist. Feet finder website? What? No! That's uncle. Fuck no. Uh, okay, dare, I guess. And while you're at it, I'm gonna wait for your dare. I'm gonna do the fucking thing. Well, okay, dare. I mean, I'd rather do truth, but since you're insisting, I dare you to wear Arthur's hat. I'm sorry. Never shave Arthur Morgan's beard. No fucking way I'm not doing that. Anything that is that revolves around my looks, I'm not doing that, guys. 
Cause like, I have a very strict way of me of like how Arthur should look like in my head. And not shaving him is not it. And having him wear the hat is also not it. Arthur has really beautiful hair, so why would you hide it behind the hat? I don't get it. Remember, lift from the knees. Lift from the knees. Thank you, Arthur. Antagonize everyone. Fuck no. Hello, Susan. Uh, you dare me to antagonize. All right, let me just. Is that okay? This guy. Good morning. Wipe that snooty look off your face for one minute, will you? Please don't be like this, Mr. Morgan. Shut the fuck up. On the count. Just leave me be. I don't like you. No, not everyone. I like I like most of the people here. I can't even talk to this guy. You can't even antagonize Dutch. Wow, okay. That just shows how much Arthur respects him. Hello, Lenny. How's it going? Oh, God. Everyone I hate, I hate Reverend and Micah, but I don't see Micah and I just antagonize Reverend. Careful not to work yourself to death there, I was thinking. Yeah. Pay well. Eventually. So, while the rest of us are busy stealing, killing, don't do Lenny. Yeah, I'm not. To try to survive, you get to think all day. Yeah, it's a strange world we live in, Arthur Morgan. Do you want to head into town? See if we can find anything out. Sure, I got some errands to run. Great. Go check the horses already. Bombago. Is he at Harlow? Maybe he is. Who else? Take us too? Oh, the girls. Nothing. We'll find something for y'all to do. We always do. We're bored out of our minds. Been cooped up here for two weeks now. Karen's about ready to murder Grimshaw. <laughs> can Miss Grimshaw spare you? Can Miss Grimshaw spare you? What's happened to you, Arthur? Three young, healthy women want you to take them a ride, and you're worried about house chores. Let's go. Talk about it, talk about it, talk about it. Come on, man. <laughs> I can't believe we're going to see civilization. Yeah, I mean, I don't think he's Red Harlow. Yeah, Valentine. <laughs> Very embodiment of civilization. <laughs> ladies are going to love it. Okay, then. Let's Punch go. care. Why? Why would you right. abuse a woman? The trees here, then take a left. No, I can't. That, that's fucked up. I, I can't punch Karen. She did nothing wrong. No, it's not cool to abuse a woman. You're above 20, honestly. Is one of you gonna get that fella's horse? Well, I got lumbago. It's lumbago. Yeah, lum oh, fucking lumbago. Hello, fella. Lumbago, really? Lumbago. Oh, hey, you couldn't help me get my other horse back from over there, could you? Alright. Sure, no problem. Lumbago. Easy there, easy. Easy there. Sixty-nine four hundred and twenty mounts. It's a lot. Wait. Can you, can you even live that long? I can't even lift that one. Can this horse move any faster? 
Blood still in the womb. Damn. Here. Here you go. You're a gentleman, sir. I don't take away. No, not really. I was just trying to impress the women. Hello. Damn. Okay, Arthur. Okay. <laughs> You're turning into a regular old fairy godmother, there, Arthur. What's that supposed to mean? It means you got a heart, a small one, perhaps. Your mom swallowed a laptop. A real one? And you haven't your pulse She must have a really huge mouth. Well, Arthur, I'm proud of you. To be honest, you not hadn't been here. You're watching this in the womb. Damn, they got Wi-Fi there. <laughs> well, you did. Shit. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, how, how do you know how to read them right? Anyway, aren't you a tad bit too young? Woo! Smell those sheep! <laughs> or is that uncle? <laughs> oh, very funny. This looks like a decent little town. Other people, finally. Look at all that snow on the mountains. Sure don't want to be back up there. You think we should have asked Molly to come with us? Oh no, Miss O'Shea is far too high and mighty now for the likes of us. Or to do any real work. She's a society lady now. Okay. You ain't the teacher. Take a good look around, ladies. Let's see what we got here. Go left here, down the main street. There's always on the right. Sure you can pick up some bounties there, Arthur. Heaven forbid you put your head on the line. <laughs> yeah, well, that's a young man's game. <laughs> Ooh, yes. We can get up to some mischief here, all right. Just kill him, Bago. Can, can we not kill time. someone? Will you remember that, though, Arthur? Probably not. Let's park up down the end there, near the stables. Just like I said, the cultural center of civilization. <laughs> oh, it's a dog. Man at its finest. Uncle, what are we doing? Well, we're going to do what any self-respecting maniac does. Put the women to work. <laughs> With pleasure. <laughs> we'll start at the saloon. Okay, just stay out of trouble and don't get yourselves noticed. Right, I need to get something from the stores. Okay, well, we'll see you at the general store when you're done. Come on, ladies. Imagine we're in Paris. Come on. So that's how you see yourself, is it? A maniac? Well, in what? In my youth, I used to be known as the one-shot kid. The one-shot okay. kid. I'm not gonna ask why. Turn around. For what? You are a sad man, Arthur Morgan. But I know you love me. What the fuck did I do? Yeah. I I can't go anywhere, by the way. Arthur. I have to follow him. Desperately. You're my favorite parasite. No. Ringworm's my favorite parasite. You're my second favorite parasite. Very funny. I lied. Ringworm. Then rats with the plague. Then you. Shut up. This is the place now. Come on. Morning. So, what do you need? Hell, a drop of whiskey for a start. You know, something to pass the time while we're waiting on the women. Always thinking ahead, ain't you? You're looking a bit tired there, Arthur. Why don't you pick up some coffee while we're here? Full stock list in the catalog here on the counter. Whiskey's on the top shelf. Here's the door. A dollar for coffee? If you're done, I'll meet you outside. I won't be too long. That's pure fucking robbery. Mm, here's your good health, my sir. <laughs> it's a funny world, you know. This time in my career, I pictured myself being married to an heiress. Sell your oh yeah right I could have sold my fucking bourbon yes you're right. I 
snuck into this fancy house. Acted like a servant girl. Usually works. Someone was saying her sister was taking a trip from New York or someplace. Train full of rich tourists heading to San Dene and then cruising off to Brazil. Chapter two. Okay. A train laden with baggage and passing through a bit of deserted country at night. As to get to the docks in time for the tides. In some place called Scarlet Meadows. Yeah, I know it. Yeah, yeah, it's right out in there New Hanover. <laughs> right, it's real quiet out there. Sounds good. Yeah. Who's still in care? Uh, I think at the hotel. They were picking up some drunken fellas that they was gonna rob. Why? Seemed easy. They have been gone for quite a while. I guess I'll go see if there's any trouble. Oh, there's Tilly over there. That... You can go kiss a damn snake for all I care. Get off me! Get off of me! Get your hands off of her. Who are you? A friend of mine. Get the hell off of her, you son of a bitch. Hey. Hey, take it easy. There's no problem here. There will be if you don't get out of here right now. You're making a big mistake. Tilly Jackson. Just get lost. I ain't doing this with you right now. Go away with Uncle America. Beth, they're across the street. Okay. Thanks, Arthur. Dumbass. Look after her. I'm gonna go see about Karen in the hotel. Let me just... What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Karen was a bet. Okay. Fair enough. Alright. I just went to the f I Remember fellas, going to the general store is abandoning Karen. Oh, I gotta do this again? Get your hands off her. Who are you? A friend of mine. Get the hell off of her, you son of a bitch. Hey. Hey, take it easy. There's no problem here. There will be if you don't get out of here right now. You're making a big mistake, Tilly Jackson. Just get lost. I ain't doing this with you right now. Go away with Uncle and Mary Beth. They're across the street. Okay. Thanks, Arthur. If you kill him, you'll get high on her. No, you won't. I've tried it before. Can I help you, sir? I'm looking for a girl who came in here earlier with a drunk feather. Mid-twenties, blonde. You'd remember her. Yeah, they're in 2B upstairs. Are you, uh, a friend of his? A friend of hers. Works dried up like an old dead frog. <laughs> Oh. Hey! Hey you! A friend of hers. Get out of here, buddy. I paid. They paid a hitter, you goddamn animal. Come here! What the hell are you doing here? Trying to play him? Not very well. You okay? The fuck happened uh, to your face? You sure? Yeah. Nothing. Nothing to worry about. Just men. But stupid bastard. Stupid bastard was boasting about the bank. The bank? Sure, I know small town banks are usually a waste of time, but this is a livestock town. There's lots of cash sometimes. Okay. I know she was punched. Keep investigating. I will. I hope uh, everything's okay up there. It's fine. After you. Thank you, Arthur. I don't much like being saved, but when I have to be. I understand. You okay? Sure. He only punched uh. me. Arthur punched him a lot harder. <sighs> 
All right, then. Hey, who's that guy over there looking at us? Weren't you in Blackwater a few weeks back? Maybe. No. No, sir. Ain't from there. Oh, you were. Well, I definitely saw you with a bunch of fellers. Me? No. Impossible. Listen, buddy. Come here for a minute. I saw you. Come here. Cool. Get. I don't like this. Me neither. Go get the girls home. I'm gonna go have a word with our friend. Be careful, Arthur. Just a word. Yeah. Just following it. You stay away from me. Get back here right now. That's far enough. Mister, please. I'm sorry. <gasps> I almost murdered this guy. Isn't it kind of dumb that you just would approach someone and tell him, Oh, are you from over there? Oh. Oh. Why are you telling lies about me? No, no. I, I, I got it wrong, partner. I got it very wrong. Now please help me up. I ain't never been in black water. Then why are you chasing me? I've got an unfortunate face. Yes, yes, me too. <laughs> now please pull me up, please. I made a mistake. I'm sorry. All right, come on. Shut up, Hamburger. You okay, You're not man? killing him. No. No, I am not. I'm a mess. Well, you ain't dead. Here is that. Give me Brooks. I think it's best for both of us if we pretend this never happened. Bloodthirsty? You saved my life. You're a good man, and I, uh... Here. You want a pen? It's one of them steel ones. Hmm. Oh. That's very kind of you. <laughs> but I'm not a good man, Jimmy Brooks. Not usually. You see, I was in Blackwater. Oh, I know what bloodthirsty means, Hamburger. And maybe I should have killed you. Should I have killed you, Jimmy Brooks? Me? I never saw you. Not, not now, not, not never. I think we have an understanding? Of course we do. Jimmy Brooks. <laughs> I will remember that. I've got a good memory. I haven't. I haven't. Not, not one lick. Not one since. In this year old mind. Oh, the plant. Come on. Come on. You have a nice day now, sir. Can I bring back the horse for the person? Yeah. Isn't it like. Oh, not here. Could I pull up the map? I thought you could like instantly pull it up by a streamer. You're one <laughs> I'm not a streamer, nor am I one of the best, but thank you. I appreciate it. I want to give that person their horse back. Where is he? There's your horse back. Here's your horse back, friend. Oh, you really were just borrowing it. I don't lie. I don't lie. So, there's a side quest here that I'm inclined to do. Come on. Give a fella a nickel. Give me a uh. dime. Give me something. Uh. Hey, partner. 
Hey, brother. I'm too old to get a job, mister. Way too old. Can't we be friends? <sighs> sure. Oh, I'm okay. so happy. I ain't had a friend in a long time. Long, long time. I'm sorry about that. My last friend died. Oh. Home. They said it was, but they was wrong. It's fun being with you, mister. Can I hold you a second, mister? Can I? Wait. Said my order has been delivered. No fucking way. 